Well, now that many of us have gotten the vaccine, many are still wondering if we should be getting the booster too. There is a lot of doubt. There are some people that already did it. Well, Dr. Coley is here to give us the facts. All right, Dr. Coley, today we're talking boosters, and this, of course, is, you know, the next thing that we've been talking about, the thing that we've been getting along with those vaccines. So this is a really important thing that we've been talking about a lot. The numbers, of course, uh, in terms of cases of COVID have been going down a lot, which is great, but why get a booster if the numbers are going down and if the effectiveness is decreasing over time? You know, great question, and there's many reasons for it. The first is really the original vaccines were designed against the original variant. Mm -hmm. So we are now several generations down. So that booster really helps kind of flex our immune system's muscle, remind it how to fight the Omicron variant. And we've seen scientific studies that tell us that if you get that booster, your effectiveness in fighting Omicron does go up because the original vaccines are not working as well against Omicron as uh, so hopefully the Omicron specific vaccines that should be coming up. The second reason, however, Danny, even though the numbers are going down, is that the booster works even better when the infection rates are kind of mild to moderate. Yeah. Because when there, there's infection everywhere, the vaccine can only protect you so much. But when the infection rates are lower, the booster actually works better. So it's really important for us to sort of get our immune system, continue to keep our immune system in shape to fight this infection. And I like to think about it like your immune system going to the gym. Yeah. You know, it's important <laughs> like to that. go to that him regularly otherwise those muscles get deconditioned and you can't do as much as you could before very true yeah that's, <laughs> I'm total total testament to what I've been doing every day very true so let's talk about you know the next steps for us is there a possibility that we will need a fourth shot for COVID-19 very much so but I want us to start moving away from counting the number of shots now okay. um, and just start thinking of it as something we might have to do annually sure so I would not at all be surprised come this fall yeah. if we got not just a COVID shot but also a flu shot just like we do every year with the flu. So we really want to start thinking about it now as a cold uh, virus that comes back every single year. Mm -hmm. And that's why we need to remind our immune system how to fight it. Now, there are some people who are already eligible for this fourth shot. Yeah. And according to the CDC, that's people with a compromised immune system. But they fall in a whole different category because their immune system doesn't react normally to the vaccine. Yeah. So you need many doses of the vaccine to essentially get the same response. Okay. But for most of us, I want to say that come this fall, we're probably going to need another shot but we're not going to be calling it a fourth shot anymore. It'll just be our usual, like our flu shot. Our annual, yes. Okay, right. okay. So, yeah, we'll look for that. Should anyone be getting, you know, whether it's the booster or the fourth dose, is, is anybody eligible? I mean, should we be looking at certain ages, certain risks? So if you are eligible for the booster, and that's pretty much every adult who's had their, their uh, you know, first two doses at least five or six months ago, mm -hmm. you need to go get it now. Now, an Omicron-specific booster may be coming, sure. but that's several months away. Yeah. So just remember to take that immune system to the gym if you can do it now. But if you're immunocompromised, you definitely want to go and get that fourth sh okay. shot right now. What I want to caution people against is just going and getting a fourth shot just because it, they feel like it adds more protection because there are actually risks to getting too many boosters, sure. believe it or not. It's sort of like taking your immune system to the gym too many times. Yeah. You can <laughs> cause muscle injury. So in the same way, you can have a phenomenon of immune fatigue yeah. where you can exhaust your immune system mm -hmm. by activating it too many times. You also can have risk of inflammation like myocardi myocarditis, which is inflammation of the heart muscle. Okay, and, and that's I'm happy you brought that up too because that's another thing. I mean, obviously a lot of us look at the booster as a, as a way to help us get back into our daily lives again and, and kind of reintegrate. But like you said, there are risks. So what are the pros and cons when it comes to getting back to our lives, but also making sure we know those risks? I think, you know, getting back to our lives, the booster is one of of the things that's really going to enable it mm -hmm. because the masks are coming off a lot of the mitigation measures that we had before we're getting rid of right. and so as we live alongside this virus making sure our immune system keeps us out of the hospital yeah. using the booster to do that is one of the most important things so if you're eligible go and get it but if, if you've already gotten it or you're not yet eligible don't just go out there and get additional shots because you could actually be doing damage to your immune system by doing that increasing your risk so I have a lot of friends that say I just got that fourth shot for the sake of it yeah. That's not what I would advise. Mm, okay. All right. So exercising our immune system, but not over exercise. Exactly right. You got it. All right. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Cooley, thank you. As our lives get back on track after COVID-19, affordable preventative health screenings are always available at upcoming Nine Health Fairs or a local Quest Diagnostic Center. Learn more at ninehealth365.org.